We start at 4 o'clock with one of the most incredible survival stories we've heard in a while, impressing even wildlife officers. The story of the trail runner that came face to face with a mountain lion and ended up killing the cat in self-defense simply with his bare hands. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan is outside Horse Tooth Mountain open space where this happened yesterday and Noel, rangers closed off that area this afternoon. Kim, we're right at the Soderberg trailhead and yes, they have closed this off out of an abundance of caution rangers say it's a cooling off period. They call it after this attack and you can actually see here at the trailhead they have posted signs about the recent mountain lion activity in this area. So if you have not heard the details of what happened yesterday, it is one crazy story of survival. Colorado Parks and Wildlife got a call from a hospital yesterday afternoon. A guy came into the ER with injuries and claimed that he'd been attacked by a mountain lion while he was trail running. He was able to pinpoint the exact spot where it happened on the West Ridge Trail in Horsetooth Mountain open space. CPW officers, they interviewed the runner and they say he told them he was jogging, heard a noise behind him and saw a mountain lion standing on the trail. The runner threw his hands up in the air, made a bunch of noise, stood his ground, everything you're supposed to do in that type of situation. But the lion lunged at him. He fought with his hands, his feet, and was able to choke the lion to death with his bare hands. It's an incredible story, but it's totally legitimate. Um, his injuries are consistent with what he's telling us. The, uh, the necropsy, at least the early results from our necropsy, show that his story is totally consistent with the injuries to the lion. CPW thinks the mountain lion was less than a year old and weighed fewer than 100 pounds. Mountain lion attacks are very rare. In Colorado, 16 people were injured since 1990. No word yet on when this trail is going to reopen. Park rangers are here right now. The trail runner who was attacked, he had injuries to his wrist, his face, his arms, his legs, but CPW officers say he is going to be okay. Kim and Tom, his name has not been released, but boy, people are sharing his story all over the place right now. Noel, we always talk about what you're supposed to do if you encounter a bear mm -hmm. or a mountain lion or a coyote, and they all have different uh, techniques you're supposed to use, but ultimately you're dealing with a wild animal and you may not be able to govern what happens, and that seems like that was the case here. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, Tom, and they even likened it to uh, just an instinct a, cat, uh, instinct a cat might have when mm -hmm. you roll a ball of yarn. It's instinctively going to go after that, so it's not necessarily that this uh, this animal was tracking the human or um, any other reason, didn't just some type of natural instinct it had to go after this guy. But yeah, he is so lucky that he was able to fight this animal off and survive to tell that story. Well, it was the story that last night, the minute we heard the first part, nobody could piece it together. So we're glad we're getting more information and details and CPW is comparing the injuries and talking about this because it is quite a story. I don't think we'll see one like it again. Thank you, Noel. No, now we just have to hear from the guy who was attacked yeah. himself. Uh, you're thinking how we're thinking. I mean, somehow we got to yeah, hear from him at some point. It's a story to point. tell for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Noel.